G'day, Paul. Adams, how are you doing, son? What are, what's the lesson today, mate? What are you going to oh, teach us today? Pull out, uh, pull out a snapper. Oh, right. You want to know how to fill out a snapper? Give it a rinse first. Have a pot of uh, salted uh, ice water. Put the fillets in to keep them nice and pretty. These are nice plump. You see how thick these snapper are? They're quite good, so they're reasonable fillets. That's a, that's a good good looking fish, mate. So we start with an incision in there. We come up, there's lots of good meat up in, up in the head here. A lot of people up here boil their heads up. We just try and get as much as we can out of them. Every time you cut them in the gut cavity, give the knife a bit of a bit of a clean off. You can just go down along the backbone as close as you can. How, how close is an incision, or how, how deep should the incision be? Just to get it going really, just to start it, so you can get your finger in. And once you get your finger in, then you can hold it back like this. And you can just peel it, and cut and peel. Um, the flesh comes away from the bone quite well. Normally I'd like to leave my fish in the fridge overnight before I did this just to set the flesh a bit, but because we want to eat some of this for dinner tonight, I'm assuming, um, that's be really nice. not, uh, not going to happen. So I mean, just avoid this part. There is some more meat in here, but it's just a pain in the ass with the, with the rib cage, so just cut around that. And that's the, the rough fillet with the scales and then... So where does that go mate? Well that just goes in there and then when oh. we get it inside we just take the uh, skin off and then... Uh, so is that, is that, that salt? salt? has to be salt water. Yeah, salt, wa salt f water, fish, salt water, fresh water, fish, fresh water. So rinse then, it uh, off and... This gonna... fella's still got a bit of a nervous twitch in his eye. I guess so would you if you'd just been hopped so, and gutted. There we go, down there. <laughs> and behind the... The lateral fin here. Um, Mate, this is heading straight to YouTube. <laughs> Tremendous. How are you anyway, mate? Thanks for the day's fishing. It was awesome. The day? I think we were only out for a couple of hours, weren't we? Sure. Yep, there was plenty yeah, of... on today, weren't they? There was plenty of activity out there. Yeah, once we got away from those blooming kaha wai. Yeah, well that was the first catch of the day. Not a bad size kaha wai. See, that's a good point. We might as well smoke up some snapper rather than the, rather than the kawai or use the kawai for bait. So we just get in there, just peel this back down the down the ribs. Down in there. I mean there's hundreds of different ways of doing this, but this is the way that I This is the bullsaki method. So you yeah, get, as you can see it's pretty it's a pretty clean frame. The frame's just go in there, give everything a Yep. How's your father rinse? Pretty close to the bone, mate. So that's how it's done, is it, mate? That's it. That's how we do it in the north, mate. That's how we do it in the north. And here you go. So we do. You got a you got a reasonable one in here, haven't you? So I've got to say, I did catch a couple of big snapper today, that mate. One looks all right. Oh, we we're going to weigh one, weren't we? Well, I think it was that first, it was that first oh, one. We already uh, we already done the honours on it, have we? Without it, a way bugger all now. Hey. It'll weigh bugger all now. No, so this must be a pretty nice thing to wake up to every morning, mate. Are you talking about my wife or? <laughs> I was talk talking about Taipa Bay. Yeah, no, it's all good. 